Alright, first and foremost, I want to give our praises to Hawa Boshim, Yahweh Shai Boshim, and Kakodash. The blunders today lives in the process of James Green, Mr. One, and salutation to all your kims out there. Pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. This is the body of Hawa Bar, from the Jamaica James Camp, here to do a short video. Alright, so basically, what we see happen now, you know society today so basically they had a lot of hasten and a draw closer but our people out here are still doing a bag of stupidness right we see we see where in us you have things i mess up the earth completely like viruses and then from a thing that esa to be exact right and it'll get worse but our people our people don't understand the severity the situation right scripture tell about the other lord the day that is coming that there is none else like it right so this is going to some scriptures we actually bought them points here because our people still out there are do them wickedness and not seeking to repent right so basically we are going to the day the lord still right so it's definitely one of 40 say the great day of the lord is near it is near and hasten it really Right, so even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Right, so basically, the voice of the day of the Lord, the man out there in the highways and byways. Right, so we out there are preachers say, Oh, the day of the Lord is coming soon, but our people not take heed to the warning. Right, say, Oh, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. The day of the, that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress. A day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. So, <laughs> right there and then, I show you, say, oh, the other Lord is no fun and games, right? No fun and games. It's a time I had Jacob's trouble coming up, right? Wait, the scripture, the scripture say, yo, um, there is no, no other time like this. Yeah, right. Actually, search feeds in Bible in me and then it is a Jeremiah 30 and 7 says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, All right? But he shall be saved out of it. Time men on the highways and the byways preaching his word in sincerity and in truth, All right? They say, Oh, there is none like it. And we know, say, Oh, the most I actually flood the earth. Right? Before, right? Leaving only eight. And that was very drastic. Right? So if if there is no other day, day time like this then that means this are even worse, right? So the scripture say oh day of darkness and of gloominess. There is no there is no adjective there that is that um should I say. No adje no adjective there is describing something fun, right? Something to look forward to. Right, to the men of the Lord, that's something to look forward to still, but you know, you know, the eyes of people, even Christians, they are the Lord, when the most I come down on a, on a white horse, you know, and just I'll go up everybody, and oh, that is not it, right? The most I come back here to destroy this place, right? This place is sinful and you need to sink, right? With people, God completely. Right, so hey, you have people out here as a, as me I say, right? See, see, things are happen, but take no heed to the warning or pay no attention, none whatsoever. Right? We have every minute you have nuclear um nuclear warfare being talked about in the news, right? You have countries that are in countries, right? The main countries them when the scriptures say I got kicked off too, right? What our people now take? People don't draw closer to take it to that one, you know. People are live like, like, hey, there is no tomorrow, or you know, them YOLO slang, or them no business, right? Them not have no fear for you, most right? So, Ezekiel 21 and 9, it says, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus say the Lord, 
say a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbish. It is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. It is furbish that it may that it may glitter. Should we then make murd, it contaminate the rod of my son as even tree. Right? So hey, as me say, you have countries out here ready to kick it off and people out here still a party and them type of thing. I don't know say yo the effect of this is that hey, we get where it don't get because First thing first, Jamaica not dependent. Jamaica not dependent on himself, right? We import food and them thing there, and you know, say in a time of war, countries lack of all food them have for save resources and them thing. There. So we not go get nothing because we don't live a subsistent lifestyle, right? We dependent on other people. So what go on? We are gonna get what we don't get, right? The day of darkness and gloominess. The scripture says famine and pestilence. I go. Alright, so, alright, so this is a Jeremiah 29 and 17 does say, The Lord of hosts, behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence, and will make them like vile figs. They cannot be eaten, they are so evil. Right? We are cut. The scripture says, Your sword, famine, and pestilence. I must say, we're in as the corona, right? A key now, even though. Maybe it might die down, just maybe it might die down. Well, we know, say, oh, we know, we see how Isa actually uh, create them, right? And I test them from people because. It's so like, yeah, believe it or not, these things are made to kill, right? Because apart of Isa agenda, well, apart of Mose agenda, Isa, I don't want to bring it on, right? So we see we're in as pestilence. I know it because we see every minute these are creating new viruses and bacteria to actually get rid of people, right? The farming part of it is because in a three days time all all supermarkets and storehouse clean because what well, everybody panic everybody are trying to get food for them family everybody are do that everybody are do this, right? And then all all trading and import and export get locked off because what well, night time of war people save them resources. Right. So yeah. Right. Famine easy. I will see where the sword is. The sword, right. I will come because the sword is being sharpened. Right. That are the ICBM missiles. Where the most I have lined up. Right. Where the, where the country, where each country have aim at them one another. Right. To destroy the, to destroy each other. Right. Fulfill the most I plan. So basically we see we see where where them thing uh, get prophesied before it even happen but we people still not take it to a warning. So the scripture say the other Lord I catch him like a thief in the night. So second Peter three and ten is about the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also and the works therein shall be burnt up, right? Simple as that, right? So, see, we're not the people constantly go off, and this is why the man get destroyed, right? Um, hold on, let me get yeah, see, the people are get destroyed basically. It says this is Zachariah 14 and 12, and he said, And this shall be the plague we with the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem, their flesh shall consume away while they stand up on their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in the hole in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Right? So, yeah, this uh, this uh, this just a uh, give a uh, description of uh, basically how how the effect of the missile will be. Right? I just basically I uh, give a description of how the effect of the missile will be. Right? So you know, them now we get every time to move because them are gonna be burnt up as it drop. Right? Like we're thirteen and eight. They say and it shall come to pass that in all the land say the Lord two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Right? Yeah, so two third of our people are get cut off because what well, people out here still are have a have I have fun party and them type of thing the while all of them thing here are home, right? So most I gotta put them to death and it's simple as that. 
So with that, I want to give all pieces to you. How about shame your share, about shame your cup of dash. Double and nice to deal with an apostle of Jesus, great man's stone and salutation to all that comes out. You're pushing this world in sincerity and truth. Shalom.